Do you remember when we covered on this channel that when John Riccatello, CEO of Unity, announced his pricing change, which absolutely gouged video game developers, and I said, everyone hates this change, this is bad for everyone? According to this article released on September 15th, Unity has been forced to close their offices due to a credible death threat. Unity CEO John Riccatello was scheduled to address staff at a company-wide meeting due to what was described as a credible death threat. San Francisco police told Polygon that the person who reported the threat to police said an employee made a threat towards his employer using social media. The aforementioned employee reportedly works at an out-of-state office. Now there is a little bit of conflicting information as there are many articles that say Unity has not confirmed that an employee made the initial threat, but most updated articles do say later clarifying an employee made the threat towards his employer using social media. Now I do find some of these comments interesting and I do kind of want to go through them because the public has a lot to say. For example, since we now know this was an employee, there's like a 99% chance the quote, credible death threat was something like, John Unity should jump off a cliff. Or comments like, the death threat was made by a Unity employee. This was confirmed by the police today. I'm 99% sure the whole thing was a sham and this death threat was called in under instruction by one of the higher ups just so they would have an excuse to avoid this company-wide town hall meeting and not have to answer any questions or concerns. This wasn't a developer or customer making death threats. And as we hop on over to Twitter, we see a lot more people who feel dubious about this reporting, such as this comment saying, until we see these supposed quote threats, I'm assuming the CEO is just lying. We also have comments like this that say, Unity is trying to kill Unity for killing Unity. And uh, yeah, that is exactly what this story is about. Well put. I've also seen a handful of hot takes like this where it says everyone on Twitter blamed everyone else for being awful, but it turns out it was a false flag. A Unity employee made the death threat. Unity knew that and allowed people to believe it came from the game dev community to divert attention from their PR disaster and garner sympathy. Now, I've seen this take a couple of times. I've never actually seen anyone on Twitter blame anyone other than the employee for the threat. So I don't really consider this a false flag. And even if Unity did allow people to believe the threat came from outside of Unity, that still doesn't make it a false flag. It just means they didn't share information because they wanted to maximize the sympathy unto themselves. Withholding from information is not a false flag. Rather than go through a bunch more comments, I'm just gonna go over this one that basically summarizes the two most common things that I see, which is, so that means that either one, the Unity employee genuinely hated the company that much, which, judging by everything we know about Unity, is entirely possible. Or two, Unity paid the employee to make a fake death threat, which is, again, something I keep seeing repeated everywhere. I'm seeing false flag accusations. I'm saying this is an inside job. This whole thing is fake. A lot of people don't believe Unity because it feels too convenient. Now, personally, I have no reason to suspect it to be an inside job as Someone who has been an employee of many different companies, I can tell you for an absolute fact that no one hates a company more than the people who work there. I 100% believe an employee would make a death threat against their boss on Twitter. That is very easy for me to believe. Although I am very curious to see what this alleged death threat actually is because I feel like even some simple expression that was just using I'm going to kill my boss as a method of exaggerating how frustrated they feel would be deemed a credible threat just so they would have an excuse to shut down the town hall. It's entirely possible the employee just went, fuck, I hate my boss, I hate this company, and I wish my boss would die. Calling that a credible death threat benefits the company a lot because it gives them a way to garner sympathy and push some of the heat off of them. I also don't think it makes sense to pay someone to threaten to kill you on social media account of that being a crime and the fact that police would get involved and it just doesn't make sense. There's no amount of money you could give me to risk being investigated by the police and potentially going to prison. My freedom is worth more than money. That doesn't make sense to me. But ultimately, those are only opinions, and I'm very curious to hear yours in the comments section down below. Bye, guys.